Today I'm chasing down a vacuum leak in my engine and previously I had used propane if you just uh, light up the torch without any flame it, it blows out propane and if you stick that in the intake you'll see that your uh, your air fuel mixture changes or if you're watching on HP tuners you can see that the uh, short-term fuel trim start adjusting as you add fuel to the system now blowing out propane you can go work your way through the engine at different locations and try and find you know is the leak here is it over here is it over here so you keep probing at all these different areas where you think there might be a leak and as soon as your fuel mixture changes you know you found a leak using that method I was able to diagnose um, we had a leak up here in the in the vacuum booster for the brakes so this unit here has been replaced um, that was failing it was leaking in there so I found one intake leak a pretty bad one with the propane but I just I wasn't able to find a, a second leak and I still have uh, poor mixture at idle so I am looking again this time I'm gonna attempt to do it with a smoke machine now we built our own little smoke machine here and uh, yeah, let me show you what it consists of. This is the lid for this jar. And uh, what it has is it has an old aquarium pump with two leads that lead into here. It pushes air in. The air can freely flow out this hose. And that heads up to the car. And then in the middle here in the jar, we're going to fill it up with a bit of fuel, a bit of oil. Um, and that oil will use the rag as a wick and it will wick onto this heating element. Now this heating element I made out of uh, canthal wire which uh, people who do vaping use this to ignite their their vaping oil. So that's kind of what we're doing here is just building an oversized vapor. Um, these elements here uh, draw a fair bit of current so I'm going to be hooking it up to 12 volts and uh, using that the air pump runs off of 110 volts and uh, luckily in the shop we have both so it's not a problem. So I'm going to soak down the rag with uh, some oil. Okay, there's still a little bit of oil in the bottom, a quarter inch and the rag is soaking it up like crazy. Now the element isn't touching the glass on the bottom or the sides, it's only touching the rag. And uh, let's see how she works. Let's turn on the air pump. Now I haven't shown you the other end of this hose, the, the outlet from here. It's not producing any smoke right now. But I, I found a can that fits right in where the air filter used to be on the car. So this is the intake to the car. And that's your mass airflow sensor there. Anyhow, this can fits fairly tightly. I liked it, so I drilled a hole in it, and I stuck in a tube with a, I don't know, an aquarium hose on the end of it. So I drilled four holes in it, so it lets the air out. I can feel the air on my face. So that fits in there fairly tightly. Now let's, uh, if I hook up the electricity to the 12 volts, it's already on a ground post here. And this post here is positive on my car. So I'm going to hook it up to power. And then we're going to come over here and see this little element here. Now oh, she's starting to smoke. It's getting hotter. We are losing a little bit of smoke out of my container here. Aha! So my container is smoking. Need a little bit more hot glue to hold the, the wire in is where it seems to be smoking. We're getting copious amounts of smoke now. So I'm going to set this down while it continues to smoke. And I see on the intake, smoke is rising from around our can. So the, the fit wasn't as perfect as I thought. We're going to use a little bit of tape to help seal up the can. Oh, we got quite a bit of smoke coming from back here. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a lot of smoke coming from in here. 
I am trying to see where. Oh, right here, this rubber lead. It's leaking like crazy. Well, let me get the camera over here and show you guys what I found. Okay, so this little thing here was cracked wide open, leaking like crazy. And it's a short little hose out of the intake. I don't see any more smoke here. A little bit of smoke coming out of my intake over there where we started. I think that was it. It's just this little hose right here. I'll turn off my smoke machine. We'll disconnect the power. So my Mickey Mouse smoke machine worked pretty good. And that machine just cooks out the smoke. I didn't think the aquarium pump would move enough air. Pretty cool.